Welcome back. Go back down. To, to, to so. <laughs> just don't kill the bad. Just. Welcome back to this show that we, we do. Okay. Every day. With every rabbit out, kill the rabbit. day. For two Forever. years. I don't know why I said it like Damn that. Damn you, blue I, guy. I it. It's fucking blue guy. Piss off, blue guy. Fucking, fucking blue guys with their fucking blue coats. Am I right, Jamie? I fucking hate that guy. Okay. Um, They're just blue, like him. <laughs> now just swing your sword a bunch of times at it. Not, not a blue not, guy. Uh, <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? This is fucking harder than it looks. I, I have not played this game in 15 years. I bet I could do this first try. Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> Okay, so I am literally being attacked. Yes, yes, you are. We are under attack. Damn it! Fucking bad. <sighs> ah, so continue. Okay, so uh, blue coat, Jamie. What have I been referencing? You are referencing our ex roommate. Okay. Yeah. Fucking shut the fuck up about it now. We said we were gonna tell the roommate story. On the branch? Yeah, th yes. that's what we were talking about like two days ago when it came up. I don't up. remember this shit. Because America doesn't know this story. Yes, that I've apparently missed. Yes, yeah, somehow you've missed it, even though you've noticed since okay. we were, like, you've noticed since before this happened. And somehow you've never heard this story. Okay, uh, the names will not be protected to because nobody here is innocent and no one needs protected. So we, we, we had these roommates. They were Sam and Richard. And... They slowly gaslit us and did crazier and crazier things. They didn't even gaslight us. Uh, I would say, well, they tried to. Let's, let's put it that way. They tried to. So uh, we we had a very poor roommate agreement. I don't think it was ever even written out. We just agreed to things. You know, we agreed to split food 50-50 because the plan was we were going to eat together. See, you're not the only one, bitch, that can do that shit. <laughs> We were gonna eat together a bunch, so food would be 50-50. We'd tally up receipts for stuff that we bought for just for ourselves and, and, and divvy it up that way. You know, all the utilities and rent were 50-50 between the two couples. Right. And they got mad for a lot of little petty things. Like, okay, here's an example. And, and this was actually the catalyst for it all. We have this mini fridge. We still have this mini fridge. You know this mini fridge. It's yeah. upstairs. Meefy. Yes, we call it Meefy. And. Okay. Kill the fucking rabbit. Yeah. Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you need some magic powder. I'm pretty sure you it. need to throw a barrel at it. Yeah, or that. Can you fuck off, blue guy? Okay. Gra this is grab, tense. grab a grab a pot. I am gonna try sprinkling some fucking magic dust on no, it. No, throw throw a pot at it, Jamie. I know that one will work. Okay. If I can get a fucking magic pot. Oh no. Go. Okay. Uh. <sighs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Fuck Amer you. Amerith, go do this while me and Jamie tell a story. Okay. Yeah. I'll do the, the thing. Yeah, yeah. You you go fight those guys. So. They would do things like, like we agreed when we moved in together, we'd only run that mini fridge when we needed to, like when we were, when it was overflow on food, because power. Sam was yeah paranoid that it took a ton of power. You do the math and it's something like 10 cents of power a day. That's it. She was under the impression that mini fridges costed hundreds like of dollars fridges. a month. Yeah, like ridiculous amounts of power. Uh, and we had been slowly having a falling out with these with these two. Uh, because just things were tense. I don't know. Things were good between me and Richard, but Sam hated. Sam, Sam, Sam was controlling and, and manipulative and, and wanted to turn and people a against us. And this is not us seeing it through our eyes. This is like everyone else says, no, okay, this is to absolutely To give you context, happening. to give you context for Sam's craziness, she and I had a mutual friend in high school. I hadn't seen this mutual friend of ours since high school. It had been a couple of years. And she came over and visited Sam for a little bit. And so I, I visited with her as well because we were mutual friends. John makes the offhanded joking comment of, oh, she stole your friend. And Sam very seriously says, I fucking know. Oh yeah, she was very mad about that. I remember Not only this. that, but there were other instances. She would spy on my computer. Pretty oh yeah, sure yeah. Sam and Richard got onto my computer to spy on me. They in, they definitely well, fucking got viruses. And say how they sp spied on you. We we had computers set up, and they set hers up directly behind yours. 
just so they could see what you were doing on your computer. Yep, so at that time, I decided to look up the nastiest porn I could. Yeah, oh, well, this is and the fun course, side I don't... Of course, she was like, "Ew, BDSM." Well, bitch, if you don't like it, don't fucking look at my That's computer. That's all you did. Also, who doesn't like BDSM? What the hell? That's the best. Well, porn. it was like hardcore German dungeon porn. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe that's that, a little. That's but all you know you what? Got? Fuck her for spying on my computer. It's a fairy. Come here, little fairy. Not that you're doing much for anyway. us. Anyway. Uh, so, so this bitch, this bitch. Oh, they would they would go into our room and steal receipts. Uh -huh, we found like, that out in oh, retrospect. Yeah. So John and I, well, I put. Went well, we to... suspected it, and they had put a lock on their door. That was another sign that things yeah, were weird. Yeah, and I cause... told John they put a lock on the door. Uh, we need to get a lock on our door. Yes, because it turned out they were going into our room and inspecting it every day. We had never even gone into their room once. No, we had, but oh, only well, maybe with like their well, permission. Yeah. And I think it was only to use the bathroom. Amerith, are you gonna give this back to Jamie, or are you gonna no, are you just gonna be the boss? I'll leave you I'm, guys to finish the story. I'm okay. pissed off. Anyway. Yeah, go ahead and beat so, the boss. It's not like Jamie's missing out on on this boss. I think you pick him up. Sort of. There's a thing I gotta remember. He's gonna do something. He's gonna, he's oh gonna do yeah, he's a big genie dude. <laughs> you can't hurt me as long as I have my lamp or whatever bottle. he my said. My bottle. My bottle. Literally, he just said bottle, and you couldn't remember the damn word. Well, bottle. I couldn't read it that fast because I was also trying to talk. Okay, so yeah, they did. They did lots of crazy things. And I told John that we needed a, a freaking. We, we need a lock, lock on the door. door. Yeah, we need a lock on the door. And as soon as we got one, like that day after I installed it, I got a phone call asking if we were running our mini fridge. Like, fucking really? Anyway, so the mini fridge was the, was the straw that broke the camel's back for them. Yeah. Now, they had been lying to us about the power bill. Oh, right, right. That was another months. point of contention. Because we had agreed on a, on a temperature setting. I think it was 72, something like that. And Richard, Richard couldn't had... sleep above 68, 69 degrees. So Which... Richard had decided to go in and bent the coil because it was a metal coil yeah, thermostat. Yeah, the, the, the metal strip. Yeah, He, he bent... bent it to where it read as higher. Yeah, to where it read a higher temperature than it was. So that it would be 69 while it was set to 72. Which drove our power bill. Yeah. And, and so was a, there was a constant argument about the, the power and the power bill. And this was over the course. This went from being like awesome roommate situation to this crappy inside of what? Six ten months. months? Ten months was, well. No, the lease was only eight months. No, the lease was ten months. The, the lease was eight. The lease could, was ten months. We moved in in April. And we didn't move out until December. Yeah, New Year. So eight months. Hey, we got a seashell. Tuba. Uh, the conch horn. I have the conch! Only you're allowed to talk okay, about it. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Regardless to the timeline. Yes. They had been lying about the power bill. Saying it was higher than what it had been. Yes. And finally, we asked them for a temporary... Oh no! No, no I was, just called. Yeah. I just called the the power company and asked them what our power bill was. Okay, and so found anyway, out they were lying. right, right. But they the whole reason that we you called them is because we got the, a ridiculously high power bill one month. We got a ridiculous. It was November. Uh, yes. Yeah, November. Was, I, th I think the power a, bill was, like was for October. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the power bill they they quoted us was like a hundred forty dollars. Yes. For a two bedroom apartment in yeah. November. And it was actually like sixty or eighty bucks. No, it was ninety eight dollars and change. Oh, okay. I yeah. Anyway. Regardless. What are you doing, man? Okay. I was getting that treasure just now. Picking up mad. and throwing rocks. I'm just hopping mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's just just overall. So Bad, badly bad, bad roommates. So we were, we were demanding to see the actual power bill, and refusing to pay the power bill until they showed us what it yes. was actually. And, and at the same time, have we talked to her, Tracy? Yet? No. Nope. Oh. Um, okay. What does she do? She's got a secret. Who give me twenty-eight rupees for my secret? Do you? Uh, come here and I'll rub it on you. Oh. Whoa! I have applied secret. my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all hearts. Drop by again, big guy. And it only gets the more expensive the more you go and get it. Oh, well, then. So, at the same time as this, 
I think your mom. We got a turkey for some reason. We had gotten no, a turkey no, we, from work. What it was or... is my sister was getting a, rid of a bunch of stuff from her freezer, and we had a bunch of stuff that wouldn't fit in the freezer. Yes. And, and the... this is what set off the whole mini fridge. Yeah. And keep in mind, leading up to this, they were constantly eating our food and claiming they weren't and claiming. And what... claiming that they paid for it. We actually had an instance where they. We, one of them went on vacation. And I bought a pack, a 12 pack of um, the, the hot pockets, the breakfast hot pockets, which Sam, when I purchased them at, you know, Sam's club. Yeah. Oh, him. you have to pay for those. Richard doesn't like those. And he ate all but one of them, I think. No, all but two, because you and I each got one. Oh, OK. So he ate. I think you put the sprinkled dust down that. He ate 12 or 10 of the 12 hot pockets that he's. And he was like gorging on them, too. He's like, nom, nom. I love breakfast hot pockets. Hey, kid, you woke me from a fight nap. Thanks a lot. But now, I'll get my revenge. Okay, Are you ready? ready? I'll let you carry more magic powder. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Oh, With... <laughs> you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. <laughs> Take care. See you again. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a that was weird. It's a callback to Link to the Path. Yeah, where he the guy curses you by he means to half your magic and instead he makes your magic consume use, half. Consume half, yeah. Okay, so yeah, um, anyway. uh, we had this extra food. They they realized we were running the mini fridge, and they blew up at us. Uh, actually, no, they didn't. specifically John. They blew specifically at John. No, actually, I think this, they, they didn't blow up at me. They just cut the power the next day. Like, no, we woke... John, you don't. No. Am I the skipping this The timeline was we ran the mini fridge. They bitched at us for running the mini fridge. Yes. Then they started. Oh, then we got a lock on our door. They called you then. Then, about a month later, is when they fucking threw, uh, turned off the power because we were refusing to see or to pay until we actually saw the physical bill. Oh, right. That's what it was about. Jesus it was a, Christ. It was about not paying the power bill. Is why they, yeah, they shut off the power to <clears throat> not only our room, but the kitchen where the fridge with everyone's food in it was. Mm-hmm. And they made sure to plan it to where we wouldn't notice until Jamie was leaving for the morning. So, so they, so I'd be forced to confront them on my own. And I was fucking scared at this point because Richard's this huge dude. He's like 350 pounds, and he has a history of violence. Yeah, and he's a violent dude. So, like, not a super violent dude, but if he's mad, he's stupid when he's mad. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. He's stupid when he's he, mad. He does like he grabbed a friend's spine. You know, just friend things. Yeah, when he got, like, slightly perturbed about something in a game, if I recall. Anyway. Mm. Anyway, so... Oh, hey, Marin. Mm. Uh, we'll go back there in a minute. Yeah. So, anyway, John has to confront them on his own. And I don't. So, I'm like, what the fuck do I do? I called the police. No, it, well, you first went to the, the front office. To oh, yeah, yeah. Call them, and they said, well, we can't do anything about roommates. Oh, yeah, they minutes. suggested I call the police. And they suggested you call the police, so you did. Yeah, because I didn't have any parents available. Everyone's at work. This is, you know, weekday. I had to go to work. I couldn't. We couldn't afford for me not to. Yeah, it was a weekday at like 10 a.m. This uh, is 2007. No, this is in 2006. Two, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, late 2006. So you know, 12 years ago, as of oh, I guess 11 and a half as of filming this. Anyway, so yeah, uh, good times. Uh, I'm gonna abridge this part, Jamie. Okay. Uh, police show up. Uh, tell us to work our shit out. It was actually much more gratifying than that, but I'm not going to go into the details because it, it really seemed like he... W once it came out that they had been, like, trying to steal money from us and doing all sorts of crazy shit, because apparently that's, you know, their job as a, as a police counselor. They're, they're not a police counselor. They're just police. Um, that, that was sarcasm. Domestic police? Yeah, domestic police. Um, anyway, so, so after that confrontation... We got home that night because I had to go to work too. I, I just started work later and I had to take the bus and it was good, good fun times taking the public transportation. I had places to go that day. We got back at the same time. Jamie picked me up from work and just their stuff was gone. Now it turns out the furniture wasn't gone. It was locked into their room, which we didn't violate the sanctity of, but they were gone and their stuff was gone. And we never saw them once after that. That I recall. Did you ever see them after once. that? Okay, you saw them once after briefly, that. Briefly. Very briefly. <laughs> so, yeah. But 
But this is what, what came up the, the day after because the blue coat joke came up okay. somewhere else. No, no, this was actually that same night. Right, this was the same night. I'm saying, yeah. No, 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 because I, I called my brother Vaughn. Because we were happy. We were elated. It was like this nightmare is over because this has been just months of torment living with these two who are just constantly being shitty and constantly making shit up. And so, and gaslighting is appropriate, I'd say, Jamie, when they're, when they're like making up power bills and yeah. lying about the agreements we'd made. Yeah. And, and, um, and the, tur turning every, all our friends against us, like they, they would go around and just make and up shit about yeah. us. Oh yeah, uh, our friend, my friend Emily, for the longest time was buying into Sam's bullshit because she wasn't even bothering to ask me about what my side of the story was. Yeah. Like, one of the lines, you just, you two just moved out so you could fuck. Uh, no, we were fucking before that. Yeah, Sorry. that was, that was a <laughs> that, weird thing that, to say. Like, yeah, we, like, Sam was apparently making assumptions about my, our sex life. Uh, well, she should have stopped making assumptions and just watched. I'm just saying. No, no, <laughs> thank you. No, you. Um, anyway, but, but, I, so I call my brother Vaughn because I am just excited. And my brother Vaughn at this time works at the, the local community college, uh, in the, the computer lab. No, no, no. Richard worked in the computer lab. Vaughn no, just went Vaughn there. Vaughn worked in the computer lab. Richard went and visited. Oh, okay. Well, sorry, I, I spoiled it some. I ruined, I ruined anyway, the story. Anyway, Richard had made this uh, blue pseudo-alchemist coat. Yeah, yeah. Coat, if like, if you're, everyone remembers Full Metal Alchemist, I mean, I guess it's the same Brotherhood or the original. Uh, the main character has this very distinct red coat, and Richard made a blue version of it because he was like... And so the, the emblem off-center. Yeah, and it was because I'm like, oh, it's like an alternate version. I'm so cool. And he'd and wear it everywhere. It was hand sewn, and and Richard smelled bad all the time. Not that that was like a knock against him, but he, he always smelled happened. bad, and he just he okay, had. Okay, hold this... on, hold on. I can sum this up in one word. Milady. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Richard was pinnacle milady back before people were saying milady. So so anyway, you call your brother up because we we just had to have some catharsis. Like this wonderful yes. thing happened. So I'm like, so I, I tell him, okay, my roommate just moved in. Uh, our, our roommate Richard just left, like, his, his stuff's gone. And he, my brother pauses, Richard. Is, does, does, is he go, he, does he go to see the this ex campus? Yeah. Does he wear a, a, a stupid blue coat? Yeah. I hate that guy! Are we at the end of the story? Yep, that's the end of the okay. story. Yeah, so see y'all tomorrow. Thanks, have a good day. Thank you.